I'm Patty Shoemaker, and I'm with my partner, Jimmy Lewis, here at Shoemaker and Shoemaker, and we've been talking about quadros. And we've talked that you need a quadro to divide a retirement account incident to divorce. But help me understand something, Jimmy. What happens if we don't do a quadro? Like, you know, that huge 401k that I got, and, and you're going to get a portion of it. If we don't do a quadro, so what, right? Big deal. Well, it is a big deal because if you were just to say, I'm going to withdraw X amount to pay to you without doing it through a quadro, there is going to be a significant tax burden associated right. with that. So, so you would have to pay, or I would have to pay the withdrawal penalty fees exactly. and income tax on the portion that I would withdraw in order to give to you. Exactly. And that is not cool, all right? I don't want to pay that to you. I don't want to pay those burdens if you're getting the benefit of that exactly. in a quadro. So that's why a quadro is so important. Um, now, if we do a quadro, and, and does anybody have to pay taxes? It depends on how the distribution is taken. If the alternate payee, who's the person who's receiving the funds, if they take it as a cash distribution and they receive the funds, then they do have to pay regular income tax on it at their tax bracket, but they avoid that penalty that we discussed. But I, as a participant, don't have to pay taxes, no. though, right? No. So call us with your quadro questions and your what you need for quadros, and we'd be happy to talk to you here at Shoemaker and Shoemaker.